first i will just introduce you about this atmospheric electricity because this is a new subject you might have not heard about it actually uh, but you might have heard about this benjamin franklin and his kite experiment in somewhere in 1750s he was trying to understand how lightning is occurring or what is lightning yeah uh, he was trying to understand what is lightning because that time it was not everybody see the lightning but it was not known what is lightning and by his very tight experiment first time he discovered or he showed that lightning is nothing but a electrical discharge because just before that electrostatic uh, electricity was discovered and he told the first time that the main thing that lightning is nothing but a one form of electricity it is due to ele electrostatic electricity that discharges are occurring and he started this branch of atmospheric electricity first time he started with lightning study and then many uh, pe people did I, i will not go into detail but uh, there are many uh, scientists they tried to discover this even though it, it, i am of 1750 it was understood yeah 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 uh, it, it, they 1750 it people started knowing that a lightning is a electrical discharge but it was not known how exactly that electricity is coming because as you know to produce a electrical discharge if you have positive terminal and negative terminal and it is separate by 1 mm then you can get a discharge or you can get a spark that is a electrical discharge lightning is also like that but to produce a electrical discharge we need cloud is somewhere 5 to 6 km or that charge center is 6 7 km and from there to earth producing electrical discharge if you calculate huge electrical power is required and it was not known how that electrical power is coming inside cloud and if it is coming why it cannot be used in initial period people were thinking that if it is it is a huge power if you do some research we can use that power for mankind that was earlier stage and uh, then now uh, people know that not only in the cloud time but even air weather means if there is no cloud also atmosphere purchases some electricity because even though we see say that uh, our air is a con uh, bad uh, conductor of electricity or it is insulator because electricity will not flow through it but still it is a conductor it is having some free And that three ions can, if you apply electric field, that the three ions can flow or they can move and produce some electrical current. And even though uh, daytime or even there 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 day, there is always some electric field exists around 200 to 300 volt per meter electric field always exists uh, any anywhere in the atmosphere, anywhere in the earth's surface. And uh, then thunderstorm electrification, as I told. we know that it is uh, electricity is there but how that electrification is occurring or how that power or electrical power is coming inside cloud that still it is a research area even though some well known hypothesis are there but still it is not 100% sure how that power is coming then global electric circuit actually as you know ionosphere it is around 100 km from our surface there is a layer of uh, layer actually earth and ionosphere act as a conductor means like a capacitor and electric field between them is always there even though as i told our air is not a insulator it is a conductor and therefore that potential difference should have become zero because if there is a, some leaky uh, medium in between two conductor then current should flow and after some time that potential difference should decrease or it should become zero but it is the, that potential difference is always remaining between ionosphere and earth surface potential difference is always there and that is how that is remaining that people are trying to understand that is global electric circuit it is called because ionosphere in fair weather day current is flowing ionosphere is that potential positive potential and earth is that negative potential therefore positive ions are flowing from ionosphere to earth but where there is a thunderstorm then it is happening opposite means positive ions are going up and they are again charging the ionosphere means ionospheric potential always remains same 
uh, with respect to earth and that is called as a global electric circuit that is also very big research topic actually nowadays and uh, this relation between meteorology and atmospheric electricity means how this uh, atmospheric parameters they affect some meteorological characteristic of the region that also is a active research area nowadays then uh, i will not go much into this how ions and that come because this this all these measurements we are doing means uh, in iitm we have atmospheric electricity observatory and there we can measure conductivity electric field all these atmospheric electricity <laughs> parameters on daily basis and uh, the thermal variation and that we are trying to study how it is coming okay that uh, anyway fair weather electricity i will not go but I, as i told i will talk something about thunderstorm electrification because as just now i told to lightning to occur fuse electric field or fuse electrical power is required and how that power is coming or how the cloud becomes electrified that uh, that i will tell actually uh, generally this thunder or uh, the thunder clouds which is producing lightning they are generally because of surface heating they are occurring and therefore they are generally near to equator only most of the thunderstorms are uh, Uh, happening and uh, even uh, uh, some towards pole also some thunderstorm but maximum number of thunderstorms are in the equatorial region you can see here actually you can see this temperate zone there is most of the thunderstorms are occurring in this zone because of uh, heating maximum in that region most of the lightning are occurring in that region this is also thunderstorms over india and you can see this mostly this east coast also you can see lot of lightning near this orissa coast and uh, uh, west bengal and also in uh, northeastern part and himalayan region also lot of uh, lightning activity okay uh, mainly there are means as i told actually electrical dis uh, discharge means this is a can see actually here as i have shown in the upper portion of cloud there is a positive charge region because to occur electrical discharge two charge regions or two polarity of charges are required positive and negative then only uh, this lightning can occur and in uh, uh, cloud there are two charge region positive charge in the upper portion and negative charge in the lower portion of the cloud and then coming that is also one uh, problem actually means how that charges are coming that is even though it is not fully understood but there are some as i told some hypothesis people have proposed how the charges are coming inside cloud and uh, in that actually even though there are this convective mechanism or many other are there but mainly it is accepted that inside cloud as you may be knowing there is not only water water droplets there are some ice particles also because clouds generally it uh, cloud base will be around 1 to 2 km and top will be around 12 to 13 km and therefore there will be large number of ice particle or frozen particles inside cloud when they collide with each other actually you might have heard in the uh, uh, childhood people when there is thunderstorm uh, people used to tell us that uh, that is because one cloud is colliding with another cloud and that is spark is generating it is not one cloud is not colliding with other but that particles inside cloud there are uh, ice particle and they are colliding with each other and that is generating the electricity that bigger particle will get negative charge and smaller particle will get positive charge and they will separate from each other and this positive charges will go in the upper portion and they will form positive charge there and negative charge particle in the lower portion of the cloud and generally this is a electric field actually i have measured and you can see actually generally as uh, shown here actually uh, this most of the clouds are like first type of means there will be positive charge in the um, upper portion and negative charge in the lower portion but in pune region we observe that some are, uh, some clouds are forming of opposite polarity means they will have positive charge negative charge in the upper portion and positive charge and still it is not understood why some clouds are forming with uh, opposite polarity
then uh, there are three types of uh, uh, generally lightning actually intra cloud lightning intra cloud lightning means actually it will occur between as i told there are two charge regions therefore it will be between that two charge region means inside under cloud only they will occur they will not come to ground and this uh, this cloud to ground discharges they are actually mainly uh, producing uh, uh, these damages and they are from cloud to ground means as i told that uh, there are two charge regions positive and then there is a negative charge region from that negative charge region sometimes the discharge occurs towards ground that is called as a cloud to ground discharges this cloud to ground discharges only of a, a 10 uh, percent of our total discharges 10 percent will be cloud to ground discharges but they are producing mostly these deaths uh, dr gopal krishna will tell about how that is affecting means how many people are dying and uh, the big concern nowadays because many people more than 2500 people uh, more than 2500 people every year die because of this lightning and that, that anyway gobal uh, krishna will discuss but this it is that cloud to ground discharge they are mainly producing that impact that uh, effect that uh, uh, damages it is producing and of course there is as i told ionosphere is also one of the conducting layer therefore some discharges occur from cloud to ionosphere also upward direction that is also very rare but uh, always in thunderstorm that also is up then as i told they since most of these discharges they are coming from negative charge keep some closer to the yeah okay uh, it is uh, this uh, uh, discharges are coming from negative polarity to uh, negative charge to ground therefore most of this cloud to ground discharges bring negative charge to the ground they are called as a negative discharges but as i told in pune or even uh, northeastern part when we are taking some observations we observe that there are some opposite polarity this positive discharges are also observed uh, many places over india and definitely they are more dangerous because they they always carry more current this this cloud to ground negative discharges will carry around 25 to 30 uh, kilo ampere current but this positive discharges will always more than 40 kilo ampere and therefore they are mostly producing more uh, damages and therefore most of the time If we are trying to understand why in over indian region this volatility discharges are more and that may be the one of the reason as i told more people are dying over india we are seeing more than 2500 people nowhere in the world that much people are dying and that may be one of the reason this positive discharges are very common over indian region that may be one of the reason Uh, then i will just tell how this lightning discharge occur as i told there are huge electricity is required to break the atmosphere because atmosphere is a, as good as a insulator there are some uh, ions are there but very few ions are there but how that discharges occur or how that initiation of discharge occurs as shown in this uh, second figure actually if you see there the discharge always start with the step by step actually but each step can be about 40 to 80 meter it will this whole charge will come down and then it will form electric field very intense electric field at the tip of that uh, lidar then it will produce the discharge and it will come step by step actually as uh, you some of you may be or many of you may be physics students and you may be knowing that gm tube you might have studied in your physics uh, sy or yeah actually if you apply a anode and cathode and if you apply very high voltage to that uh, electrodes then what happens actually because inside here there are some electrons will be there actually and if high electric field is there then that electrons will try to move in the direction of electric field means towards positive electrode that electrons will try to move and if the kinetic energy of that electron is sufficiently high then what will happen they will collide with other air molecules and they will produce ionization they mean then they will produce more electrons 
then that electron produce the electron also start moving in the electric field and they will again produce some more electrons with chain reaction more and more electrons will be getting produced and then it will form the conducting path and in that conducting path lightning will propagate it will come down then that will start that chain reaction will start and then it will produce a next path of 40 to 50 meter and that way step by step it will come down but as uh, there I have shown that uh, last step it will means it will see actually it, when lightning comes near to the earth surface at last step it will see the what is the nearest point it will not come directly to the ground from that point it will see what is the nearest point if it is a high object like tree is there or some tower is there or some high building is there it will go to that actually it will therefore generally uh, it will not strike directly to the ground it will go to some high object because that last stage it last step it will generally go to some high object and therefore that uh, point it is always at the somewhere in the tea, tree and uh, always you also might have heard that we should not go under tree when lightning is there because lightning will prefer to go on high object actually it will not directly come down and uh, that, that is called as a return stroke once it is formed that path then actually what we see is that that return stroke actually that time very huge current means as uh, i have shown the it is around thousand to two lakh ampere current will flow actually because it is a very huge current one ampere current is sufficient to kill the person and it is very huge 2000 to 2 lakh ampere and uh, as you know maybe know in joules law actually if current is flowing through any conductor it produces heat and because of that heat that column air column gets uh, heated up actually that temperature can reach up to 3000 degree kelvin 30000 degree kelvin actually you can see 30000 degree kelvin is a very high temperature means melting point also, I think uh, 11,000 degree or something, or even this it is a very huge uh, electricity actually. And uh, you also may be knowing actually this when uh, this nitrogen fixing occurs, it is called it, uh, as a endothermic reaction, means it requires some uh, uh, energy. And when lightning occurs because of that high temperature, this nitrogen fixing uh, takes place and Nox get produced in the atmosphere and with water means what droplets it comes to the ground and therefore soil also get lot of nox and uh, uh, other NO and NO2 and that is as uh, uh, it will be useful for uh, agriculture purpose also and uh, what sound it produces because when it is heated up at 30,000 degree Kelvin then that air expands actually because of sudden heating up and that produces shock wave that is what we heard it as a thunder thunder then light light also it is produced because of heating you can see here actually here also you can see how it is coming step by step you can see actually of our measurements at northeastern part and there actually we, we are taking this measurement how exactly this here you can see very clearly that return stop you can see very clearly and as i told actually current uh, in discharge is very high 20 to 2, uh, 2 lakh ampere actually and you can see this actually energy of flash it is 10 to the 9 to 10 to the 10 Joule means if you calculate in your units, it will be very huge actually. In one household can use this much power for almost at least three to four months. Means one lightning can give energy that will be useful for one house for few months at least. Therefore, if you can save or even you can collect that energy, even 50% of energy, it will be huge energy. But uh, till now, it has not. It is not possible because one thing, it is a very short-term phenomenon. It will within half second, it will finish actually. And even though that much current is coming, how we can store that energy in such a small time? It is, it is still it is not possible to store that energy in such a small time. And another problem is that this lightning will not occur at one place actually. It will be at different places. Yes, we, where we will keep our charge, storing batteries or whatever we want to keep it 
it is very difficult to store but still people are trying earlier days it was very they were very optimistic that it will be used but now uh, it is people have uh, known that it is very difficult to store but still in some countries that research is going on that we can store that energy because it is a very huge energy actually and as i told global electric circuit because in fair weather current are coming down actually because this is ionosphere you can see electrosphere i written but it is ionosphere and current is coming down and from uh, thunderstorm it will go up and uh, therefore actually this uh, as i told this lightning is charging the ionosphere therefore ionospheric potential is directly proportional very much correlated to this uh, lightning discharges because each lightning discharges will charge the ionosphere and therefore it has been proposed that this ionospheric potential can be used as a global thermometer because as you know this temperature nowadays everybody is telling that uh, global warming is happening temperature is increasing but it is a very complicated process to find out the actual global temperature because you have to measure many places and many uh, times means diagonal also you have to see and then you have to average and therefore to find a global temperature at this year and it is increase next year it is a very complicated and very tedious process but if you measure this ionospheric potential some people are thinking that it is enough it will be it can be used as a global thermometer is it will direct temperature of global means of globe how much temperature is there we can get by only measuring the ionospheric potential okay that effects anyway i i will not tell because uh, dr gopal krishnan will tell in his lecture yeah if, if you have some question up to this means basic thing you can you can ask. i told it is a very minute the whole process happens in uh, 500 or 300 millisecond and storing that energy is still it is not possible because during that uh, short time how to store that energy because it is a huge energy to be and it is not possible as i told benjamin franklin he he was he discovered and he that time he was trying to store that energy and it, so many accident because if you bring that energy in laboratory handling it is very difficult it, it is 2000 ampere or 2 lakh Uh, ampere current if it is coming inside laboratory it can explode in it therefore it is a very dangerous it is anti charge and how the charge produces such electric anti charge negative charge because as i told below there is a negative charge actually this cloud there are two charges one is positive charge and the upper portion negative charge in the lower portion therefore that negative charge come to the earth actually then lighten up suppose again this negative charge if they don't attract the negative charge yeah that is actually potential if you see that is a relative term if two volt is there and 10 volt is there then this two volt can consider it to negative compared to this because that is uh, so this negative is very huge negative actually even though that is earth also some negative charge is there But comparatively, that is a very huge negative. Therefore, it, is, it will act as a positive. But it is comparative. Means it is a potential difference that play important. But it is negative potential. It is also, but it is a huge negative. Is it possible to use that lightning? Yeah, that is the RP. Means some people now rocket by rocket we can trigger the lightning actually. If you put some rocket and if you as i told lightning try to come towards high object actually if you are producing this 1 km rocket then lightning will come to that point actually and we can trigger lightning artificially also means if some arcing wire should be attached to that uh, rocket and if you fire that uh, rocket it will act as a some raised object like in a tower or because it is connected to earth also therefore lightning will come to that actually. okay i can now we will give the that the power and given a lecture on what is introduce what is atmospheric electricity and how it is important why means important in the sense how it is felt over uh, by us because the atmospheric electricity is not it is generally actually it is uh, the available all the time around our globe but we are not seeing the feeling the atmospheric electricity is existing 
we normally know that something electricity is existing within our atmosphere. The only time when we experience there is electricity within the atmosphere, that is during the time of our lifetime only. That, but Dr. Powell is just not told, it is not only the time when that lifetime is occurring, even other times also, means all the time, means all the three, throughout the year, wherever you go, we experience a there is an atmospheric electricity is there, and, but we are not experiencing. The only, <coughs> so we are experiencing uh, that the atmospheric electricity is there, we are feeling that is only during the time of our lightning. So, lightning, what is the lightning? Lightning is a one of the optical manifestation within the thundercloud. So, whenever you have a thundercloud, whenever you have a thunderstorm, what is called the thunderstorm, thunderstorm is I think by the thunder cloud, accompanied by the rain, it will be there, and then along with thunder, you always thunder is accompanied, lightning will accompany thunder also, and there will be a huge rain, heavy rain will be there. So what we are get is the thunderstorm. Within the thunderstorm, we have a thunder, lightning, and and then a huge rain. So these are the thunderstorms. Also. So why this thunderstorm? Why only that lightning? We are means whatever the electricity we are we are having within atmosphere is is not felt during the other times, but only during a time of lightning. Why it is like this? So because this lightning carries a very huge amount of energy, very high current, very high current is applied compared to that normal time of energy. So, as you all know, that the current we are used in our domestic purpose or even our house or industry. So, what is the how much is that maximum current we are using it? So, you use it for smaller applications, we use 5 amps current. When you are using a big thing, something like a heater or something like a geyser you are putting or AC you are putting, there you are using 15 amps current. So, we are not using more than that one amps. So, maximum current we are using is only 15 amps current. So, but time, that time also when there is a leakage, if you are feeling a shock, that produces a huge effect. Means we are getting shock and then you are feeling. So, that is the time we are getting only during the time of the lighting, that is the in your domestic purpose, means household purpose. So, we tell you, if you are going to be a little bit, if you are going to be a little bit, you are going to be a little bit, maximum will be 15 amps current. Whereas, in, in lightning, so what we experience is the current, the lightning strike, each lightning strike is breaking about 20,000 amps or 20 kilo amps, what is called the 20 kilo amps to 200 kilo amps of lightning. So that much huge current it comes, it is having and this current is having a very high energy also and then what we have to power tool, it is having the power uh, energy up. 10 power 9 to 10 power 10 joules and and this because of this high energy it can produce a very high temperature the temperature is accompanied by that something 1800 to 20,000 means 20,000 degree of Kelvin so that much high energy that uh, disorder uh, charges on it. so that's why lighting Though it is a very good phenomenon, optical phenomena, you're seeing it, it is going out and it is there. You're seeing a very good optical phenomena, very good, there is that huge flash of light, which we have in a very fat again, yes, just shown a photograph. In the picture photograph, which, which is doing very nice, all you think, but it is a very much, uh, much hazardous. So one of the big hazards. So it can create, it can kill the people, it can have some injuries, it can create a heart attack, produce so many, the electrical, not only to human, to that commercial uh, applications also, so the TV towers or the, or the uh, or mobile towers, something, so everything, it can get affected because of the lighting. And all because of the lighting, it is affecting, so this kind of a damage is causes because lighting is a very huge damage it produces. If you see nowadays, there is this lightning damage is coming very high, becoming the huge damages compared to other damages. So this lightning can have two polarities. So he has told, so lightning usually brings a negative polarity, negative current, so negative lightning. But sometimes 
it has a positive lighting also. So positive lighting means it brings up well, a positive current, positive charges to that air surface. So that's why it is called the positive charge. So these positive uh, ions and either when they form in, that is always having a much higher potential, much higher energy than the uh, this one. What you know, which is that usually accompanied by that negative charge, negative lighting. So the positive lighting occurrence is rare, but positive lighting can have a very high influential means in the inflating damages. It is comparable to this one. So there are two kinds of a lighting are there, as I told. One is that the ground to uh, miss cloud to crown lighting, or it is called the intra cloud lighting, and the other one lighting is the another energy. Cloud to cloud lighting. Uh, cloud to, 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 uh, cloud to ground lighting. So cloud to ground lighting is the one which comes start from the cloud and ends at the, uh, the ground. So so which one will have a miss damaging effect whether cloud to ground or intra cloud, uh, in other cloud to uh, cloud to ground. Uh. Cloud to ground lighting because but because the cloud to ground lighting is more the damage that producing damages. But if you're seeing that when the total lighting occurring within the cloud, only maximum uh, one sixth means one something around the 25 percent, 25 not 15 percent of that lighting was only the cloud to or to ground lighting. Remaining lighting will occur within the cloud. Or from there, from one cloud to another cloud, near to, to that to the neighboring cloud. That's called cloud to cloud or that intra cloud lighting. That occurs within the cloud only. So these two are the uh, lighting. So there are two types of lighting, cloud to cloud and cloud to cloud. And there are positive and negative lighting is also there. So the so how the how this lighting start within the cloud? Because the cloud is small. And as you see, the cloud is having, but the each lighting is having a very high potential, very high voltages. So, how within the cloud, within the thunder cloud, how this kind of a lighting is produced? Means that how it starts. So, so lighting, I told you, it is only a nothing but a electrical discharge, electrical breakdown. So, in case if you are bringing a positive and the negative charges are just separated. And if you are bringing it closer, it produces a the small uh, small spark that we have seen in a battery. You can see with that even one battery, one point five volt battery, ten volt battery, something like that. Positive negative charge, it will produce a spark. But in in the lighting also within the thunder cloud, there are his tool two charge centers are there. One is the having the one one particular plate so much negative charge. Mostly that uh, that. Uh, that lower part of the thunder cloud, there will be a uh, negative charge. Upper part of the thunder cloud, there will be a uh, positive charge. So these two charges go on building up. Once it is building up, so much energy is there, then it starts a big spark, which is comes as a this one. So for that, uh, for that kind of uh, that spark to occur within the thunder cloud, means the electrical discharge. What you need is the uh, something that electrical field within the thunder cloud should be more than. Uh, more than 100 kilo um, kilo volts per meter, and then so the breakdown occurs when there is a when there is a thousand kilo volts per meter. But whatever the charges which is this uh, uh, what mostly observed charges are only 10 to 100. So uh, in that case, how this thunder cloud, how the lighting is occurring? So the the one of the theory is that the present the, the, each cloud within the thunder cloud there are hydrometers. Hydrometer. Hydrometer means nothing but the water droplet or even the cloud droplet, water droplet, whatever is present or the ice particle. So they can, the presence of this, they can bring down this amount of energy required to that much lesser time, something like that uh, below that 100 kilo volts it can. There are two theories are proposed. So one is that called the conventional breakdown theory and the another one is called the, is that the runaway breakdown theory. So runaway, so conventional breakdown theory is a very simple. So they are having that the emission of positive corona. So water droplets. So the presence of water droplets. Ah, yeah, presence of water droplets. So so much into hydrometer, that's called the hydrometer. So water droplet, cloud droplet, or even. So these cloud droplets, and then within the thunder cloud, there is a very high electrical field is also present. 
So the value of the electrical field, something goes around that 100 to 200 kilovolts per meter. So and a very high electrical field. Now in the electrical field, the form of between the cloud, the water droplet will not sit simply that idea. Within the cloud, now and the other one, the cloud within the cloud, there are three types of forces on one is the uh, the wind force, it is called as the updraft, and then that uh, another one is called the downdraft. Updraft and then downdraft. The updraft is the is the only the upper velocity, the velocity which with that uh, means that the wind flows within the cloud, so it will take away the draft. Right? And then there is also the downdraft is also there. And along with that drag force is the water experience at drag force. And then also the this percent of electrical field will also have play a role. So all these forces, so this this water droplet, whatever is present, or even the cloud droplet, they are present. They are, are they are with all these forces are acting on this this water droplet. So water droplet will cannot remain idle. It has to move and then because of the forces, when it is forces is the so it is the argument, usually the water droplet is considered to be a spherical one. Spherical, so a spherical. And I give the area of forces are going right? So because of so many forces are given. So it will not belong as a not as a spherical. So it just starts to elongate. So elongate through that time it will become a it can become that electrical part or something like the electrical, it will not low level. So electrical, from this one electrical, and then once that force is become so high. So it just breaks up. So one droplet will break into two or three or something like that. So because of the presence of the electrical field as well as the motion of the some other motion, the, some other forces acting within the cloud. So when these kinds of uh, forces acting, so it will not uh, be spherical. It will start elongating it. So on that time, on that uh, on this edges will not remain the smooth. So edges will come up to small sharp points. So from these sharp points, they will call us the corona points. Then these points, so they can have a, a, some higher electrical field stand the surrounding. So from there it will start the, the electrical initiation breakdown can initiate it. So that is called the conventional breakdown theory. That is called the conventional breakdown theory. And in the theory, so the theory. So in the theory when they act for this theory to act, so we look at the presence of high electrical field as well as that the presence of hydrometer. These two are the, uh, the pre-requirement for this conventional breakdown theory to act. Because we are saying the conventional breakdown we are saying the two things. So the electrical forces are acting on only that uh, hydrometer and then hydrometer will be along it. Some the surface of the uh, hydrometer they can have some sharp edges from where from which this corona discharges can start, which can once it starts, then it can initiate the lighting. So this is the first theory this given the this one. And one more this it is not so much convincing because this requires the presence of hydrometer. Hydrometer is not also a lot of person. So that the next theory is comes that that the rundown breakdown theory. So rundown breakdown theory, that is not it requires not require that uh, this one. So it uh, it based on the movement of electrons within the, the thundercloud. So when the, within the thundercloud, so there will be an electron initiation that is having a energy of uh, something around one million volts, electron million electron volts. So such a high energy uh, electrons. When it is produced in the cloud flow, they collide with that very high energy, what he has explained, so that energy and then that one that chain reaction starts on going it. From the chain reaction, so so much avalanche of energy is, is that avalanche of electrons are produced. So it is called that avalanche theory also. So the electrons, you know, it have a mean free path. So it will electrons will also move. If you have a mean free path, it has one centimeter. But when it within that uh, thunderstorm, it is having the mean free path can increase multiple times. So it is uh, it is moving with uh, so much high energy. So because of this collision it starts. So once the collision starts, so many energy it is like something like the same reaction. So one electron it is having so much electron it can produce. From this one, this kind of a thing. It will produce this process, produce the runaway electron, something like an avalanche. Avalanche is not really a rumba period, a bunch of electrons are produced. So, these can act as a 
the initiation for the cloud. So in this theory, it doesn't locate the presence of the initial electrical field as well as the that hydrometer. So these two are not present. The pair for this theory to this one. So high energy is not uh, high. The electrical field is high enough to sound, and then so that the, the conventional breakdown theory is concentrated in the low energy mode, and then the high energy uh, will be there again. So this is all about the that is about the the light thing. It is the theory of solar lamp. But still, it is not fully understood how the light thing because that. Uh, Doing research between the thunder cloud, entering the thunder cloud, measuring the what is the amount of electrical field available, how it is there. Now, the, all this thing only is a theory. It is not proven. That is, you cannot go through a laboratory. The theory, it is only the this theory as proposed is called the only the hypothesis has been done for this the uh, initiation of the electrical field. So once now, if I am clear, so between the thunder cloud, the more thunder cloud will have lighting here, and lighting it can is having a very high energy. And because of this high energy, it produces, it can produce a damage when it is comes as a as a cloud to ground light. Okay, so like this one, it is. So, so you know, when they always it is happening, but nowadays we are seeing that large amount of the lighting. There is a gap. If you see the data, you have done so. I may have a data, so which may come like this one. So this is this way. You can see that the number of lighting is also increasing. If you see that one, so that lighting is increasing. The way it fills a paper, it also increases. So you see that that R is color. That the number of people is affected by the lighting during the last ten years. You see that number of people affected by lighting go on increasing or very so high. Compared to the number of people affected by, uh, especially you see number of people affected by cyclone has now gone from 2004. You see 1,500. Now you see it is something around the hundred or something like that. Even the recent cyclone which hit Tamil Nadu also only five ten people or twenty people died. There is not much effect. But only in lightning people are affected. Now this lightning is remains only the greatest source. Of the natural disaster, which can affect the nature. It is considered a natural disaster. Most natural uh, disaster. Why it is like this? Because the lighting for other things, the forecast value has been increased. Forecast. So cyclone. For the now, if you want the cyclone, it is only that we have four five days before. So in the particular part, the only Chennai, around the Chennai, it will be affected. And you think the people are evacuated. We got the. Very uh, high. Uh, that what they call the late. Late time, na, four four minutes only. Three four four minutes only. So four four minutes only. In that particular part, what affects the body? Three. So people are evacuated. So something like. And the flood also. When they are releasing the water, they give the the sufficient time. Once they release the dam water, then it having the time of something to for to five hours, six hours. Then we know the where the water is going to uh, affect the particular region. People they go and. उसमेंटी <laughs> 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 Adults, they are making with uh, along with observation, uh, combined with the model, they are trying for this. Way. But uh, the thing is, that's what they are coming to. So here, they start the times is available for the other natural disaster. Whereas for lightning disaster, this late time is much lesser. And then also the place where the lightning going to affect or the thunderstorms are going to affect is also we cannot tell precisely. We can tell that the particular area over the Coimbatore area it will affect, but over this particular region, this region only the Coimbatore also is having a very huge region. So that so after means we cannot evacuate the people everywhere. We we cannot tell the people not to come out like that because for the long term. And so the time of occurrence is also very less. And then we don't have a late time. That's why people are being affected so much. So but we are having the effort to make it minimize it. So that the minimizing is because of that two or three factors. 
main thing is to make them aware that what are that uh, when that lighting is going to affect so like uh, passage on the mirror we can give only that 30 minutes exact location but within that 12 hours we can tell that uh, that area just the morning for uh, three hours before or two hours before we can tell this particular area the coimbatore is going to factor by the thunderstorm but after 30 minutes we can tell the particular area which area is within the coimbatore is going to affect so that we can tell around that uh, 30 minutes before after the 30 minutes or before that like so like that at least the 12 hours time we can then the 12 hours to 3 hours time we can tell where which area is going to affect that with the modeling we can tell and we are making the people aware how to where the people they have to go and then how the people have to to stand or or where they can stand there shelter and what are the proper way அது என்னலாம் இது பண்ணலாம் எப்பலாம் வந்து அவங்கள பாதுகாத்துக்கலாம் சொல்லிட்டு சோ இது பண்ணிட்டு அந்த மாதிரி அவேர்னஸ் இந்த மாஸ் அவேர்னஸ் கேம்பெயின் சோஷியல் அவேர்னஸ் கேம்பெயின் தட் இஸ் பீங் கண்டக்டட் சோ திஸ் பை தி பத் திங் will reduce the number of people affected by the lighting okay so now you understand why lighting affects and how lighting is affecting people and why it is so much place so eppadi vende lighting vende particular person la vende affect panna mudiyum there are four ways lighting can affect the person particular person or the property so one is called the direct sight another is called the contact voltage third is the sight flash and fourth one is called the dangerous one that is called the step voltage in the figure what you know so direct strike everybody understand what is the direct strike so lighting hit the directly but the chances are very less because the lighting as it told it comes and the ends it is only lighting before coming to the ground we see that we want to come to that uh, come by the shorter distance the shorter distance is with the man is just two to one and a half feet the average height is one and a half meters high and if there is a per, something a taller object something three is average height of a tree is 3 to 4 meter so that will mostly strike the tree only not the person so this is the only isolated person is that particular field agricultural field only that person is standing then then there is a chance of the direct hit so direct hit can give the that means that is very much fatal so because it have so much high energy direct hit is the another one is called the next one is the contact person contact voltage so person is not directly affected he is taking a shelter the person is taking a shelter close to tree or the close to building wherever it is there in a building and he is touching that particular object so when that so, uh, lightning strike the particular object where he is standing and touching it so that time he may get affected that is because of this contact with a uh, with the object which is being which is being struck by the lightning so this is called the contact voltage that is mechanical and another one is the side flight so he is not touching he is standing near the uh, tree under the tree so the tree is taller as we told the tree is more than 3 uh, average height is 3 to 4 meters so tree is uh, tree is struck by the lightning so that struck by the lightning so he is having so much energy so because of this one he is getting affected that's called the side flight and fourth one is only that one that is called the the step voltage this was something different he did not the person is not nowhere close to the that lighting so lighting as i told you it is having huge energy after hitting the ground it will not directly go to the ground when it is then it passes its energy conduct the energy to the ground in the in the wave like fashion so this conducts you can see the wave like fashion this conducting the energy if that if the lighting is so much strong it can this kind of wave like fashion it can it can dissipate the energy even to that area something like that 100 to 200 meters away also this energy can this way get to the wave that so when the person is touching the two waves you know knowing that the two waves are no? so that person can get affected that is called the side uh, step voltage one so that is also mentioned so in this way so that the uh, you know, this, this kind of is somewhat peculiar in this way he may not be near to the lighting the lighting has not struck to that person but that this kind of that energy it will dissipate within the energy from the within the, the within the air to that large distance sometimes it can travel even up to that when the energy is very high it can travel even up to the 500 meters or half kilometer away also so the way the where that place we is standing may not be having the thunderstorm is not having the affected right? but still we can get affected the particular person is affected that's more painful that's called the this the other thing that i told you 
So these are the production techniques you know. These are the conventional, non-conventional production techniques. So this is non-conventional production techniques. We, we are now updating, not the given the ministry and the home ministry, the disaster management in DMA. They are advising to everybody to have a that lighting uh, arrest test, lighting techniques test to be there. So these kind of a lighting arrests are available in this one. That is the conventional technique, that is the normal conventional technique is that one, one lighting rod will be there, that will be properly connected. That should be properly connected along the sidewall to the gap. That's not having only that uh, this one, only that the lighting arrestor is not there. It should be properly yet. Without that, it is having no use. Because, uh, because most of the people they just connect the lighting and then that is not the, they will not invest for that uh, this one for that air thing. So the proper thing is there, then it nowadays so many non-conventional things are also coming that is having the production of that early the early stream of the timing is coming, they will produce some ions and then they are telling it can they can dissipate the lighting. They are not just no, they are telling it will that the lighting will dissipate, the energy will not come the directly strike this. It's called the non-conventional thing, but it is not so much successful. What they are claiming is, but it is not that much successful. So he said this way the lighting rod should be erected and and then the grounding is very much essential. Without the grounding, it is not of use. So this is the way I told you this is that the mass awareness is <laughs> so the first one is the shape uh, shelter for the equipment of extra aluminum. So even if it is in the field also, if you are having the field, something that is open field is the very much similar, but something like a small house, small boom or something like that, even the stacks in the good Samaritan book, then we can just because we are having now because of the company up here having 30 minutes time. So you can reach at least the one kilometer level also you can reach and then you can go and stay in that one. So that will be much better. But in case of nothing is there, we have to take the one. the safest position the person can do to apply the sending because when you are the person is standing and that is the one he is very much vulnerable for the lightning strike because he is standing that is he will, he will become the tallest position in that open field especially for the agricultural field there is no tree nearby so if the person is standing and working so he will become the tallest position and then like he is very much vulnerable for that so once the lightning starts so he has to do like that. Nothing is there. He has to at least sit like this position. So then it, his toes he will leave there, and then and then his feet sit. Feet are raised on the ground, and he is standing like that. So that is for the much much bigger one. So another one is the just lie down on that one. But it's somewhat easier because if. There is a uh, that uh, particular uh, region already that means uh, that the man then Manapaji Hira Mandira that is not a good practice. Otherwise, Hira Mandira that is also just to lie down that is a good practice. Otherwise, it is a Hira Mandira is in the way Hira Mandira in the way in the way. It is the best to practice to keep at least the safe. So it will not directly affect the person, it will not hit the person. It is the safest one to have this one. So we have to tell the people. It is that thing is there. And second thing is to avoid for the lightning strike is not to take shelter below the tree because the, our general practice all over India it is general practice is go and stand near the tree only that is the, the greatest method. But standing near the tree will attract the even the ground and also the another thing is standing in a group because. There is no other shelter is there. People are standing near that under the tree is also is itself is a dangerous. And then that is also you are uh, standing together. Means or put them on the Put them on the camera over there near the camera. Even if the party one person is affected, all person near by the touch will get affected because of the contact with them. So the put them on the that should not be. Done. If you are taking the one, you have to be a, a safe distance. You have to keep a safe distance and take that daughter. So these are the three important things. And if you are going out and then if there is a better practice, it's not to go out, stand alone. And then if it is not alone, standing alone, then he has to uh, outside, he has to take this kind of uh, precaution when that when that lighting strike. And we should not go and stand near to the within uh, 
இந்த குரூப் பார்த்தீங்க கால் த குரூப் ரொம்ப கூட்டமாக நிற்கக்கூடாது ஒருத்தர் ஒருத்தர் கிறிஸ்டின் நிற்கிறது அந்த மாதிரி நிற்கிறதுலாம் ரொம்ப இதுவானது இப்போ லாஸ்ட் இயர் வந்து நீங்கள் கவர்னத்தில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பத்தொம்பது யானை இது இறந்து போச்சுருந்தாங்க மேபி தட் இயர் ஆல்சோ ஒன் ஹவர்னு தச்சு பத்தொம்பது யானை வந்து கவர்னத்தி அந்த ரிசர்வ் இதில் வந்து இந்த அந்த அந்த காஞ்சிரங்கா பார்க்கல இந்த பத்தொம்பது யானை இறந்து போச்சு ஒரே லைஃப் மிஸ் ஆகில ஸோ தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அத்தி ஷுட் பி அவாய்ட் குரூப்பிங் ஷுட் பி த and one more thing assembly is the people standing close to the car or vicinity of the site and the metal tools such as the either and then when there is some indian there is a water pool when there is a in the rain i you know tanni or the thing you know that is not allowed so you should even though lighting is not there there is and one more thing so lightning and thunder shower thunder storms comes with the light, uh, rain so that rain stops then afterwards and the cloud level portion is called the hidden veil anvil veil anvil your anvil of the cloud so anvil of the cloud can extend something around the 3 kilo, kilometer away from the cloud also the anvil is the only the top portion it is not having a base like this a metrical section of down there only the flat portion which extends on the on the top of the cloud so once that all the rain starts now only that anvil is exposed to the to, to the ground so the anvil charges that may bring the Uh, very high with uh, like in charge should be so even after the thunderstorm means the rain is rain you are taking a shelter and then okay rain in the bush is much worse than nothing is there normally in the water that time is a very much dangerous period because now you are not having a rain but the time animal is exposed and the animal because of the animal charge that will create a especially the positive because animal is in the upper portion of the positive charge so animal is also having a for the positive charge ஸோ அங்கேருந்து வர வந்து இது வந்து லைட்னிங் வந்து மோஸ்ட்லி இட்ஸ் சான்சஸ் ஆர் ஹேவிங் த பாசிட்டிவ் லைட்னிங் இஸ் மச் ஹையர் இஸ் ட்ரைங் இஸ் ஸோ ஆன்வில் வில் ஹேவ் அ ஸோ தட் இஸ் த ஒன் ஆஃப் த ப்ராக்டிஸ் பெஸ்ட் ப்ராக்டிஸ் இம்மிடியட்லி ஆஃப்டர் த ஸ்டாப் திங் த ரெயின் யூ ஷுட் நாட் வெஞ்சர் அவுட் யூ வெயிட் ஃபார் சம் டென் டென் ஃபிஃப்டீன் மினிட்ஸ் ஸோ தட் ஆன்வில் ஆல்சோ அஸ் பி டிஸ்டிபேட் தென் ஆஃப்டர் வெஸ் இஸ் கோ ஸோ ஆன்வில் தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ பிராட் ப்ராக்டிஸ் பி ஹேவ் நம்ம போய் எங்கே நின்று திரும்பினாக்கா சரி நமக்கு வந்து அந்த அளவுக்கு பொறுப்பே இருக்காது ஸோ நீ நம்ம வந்து மழை நின்றுச்சு மழை மழை வரல அப்படின்னு சொல்லி வெளியில் கிளம்பிடுவோம் அப்போ தான் வெளியில் கிளம்பும் அப்போ தான் பெரிய வந்து லைட்டிங் வரும் ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி ப்ராக்டிஸ் அதுவும் வந்து ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டண்ட்டானது ஸோ அதையும் வந்து அவாய்ட் பண்ணணும் அந்த மாதிரி இருக்குது வி ஹேவ் டு அவாய்ட் இட் அண்ட் திஸ் வே ஸோ த லைட்டிங் இஸ் ஹேவிங் திஸ் ஒன் ஸோ தட் இயர் இஸ் ஸோ இது வந்து எந்த இடத்துல உட்காடுறதும் கூட இது இருக்குது ஸோ இப்போ டேக்கிங் ஷெல்டர் ஆல்சோ ஸோ நியர் பை ஷெல்டர் தென் பேர் டு டேக் த ஷெல்டர் பிகாஸ் இந்த இந்த மாதிரி த்ரோ கிரைம் லைட்னிங் இந்த மாதிரி இருக்கும்போது இந்த மாதிரி சென்டர் உட்காந்தீங்கன்னா இட் வில் நாட் ஹாவ் மச் டேமேஜ் ஸோ பேர் டு டேக் ஷெல்டர் நியர் பை த்ரீ நத்திங் இந்த நியர் டு த்ரீ ஆல்சோ பேர் தேங்க் தென் யூ ஷுட் ஆர் ஸ்டாண்ட் நியர் டு த த்ரீ பீப்புள் ஆர் ஸ்டாண்டிங் அண்ட் கோ பை ஒன் பை அண்ட் க்ரூப் அண்ட் பை தட் இஸ் த மோஸ்ட் டேஞ்சரஸ் ஸோ லைக் திஸ் ஒன் நத்திங் இஸ் தேன் இட் திஸ் வே இட் இஸ் க்ளோஸ் டு த த்ரீ திஸ் பொசிஷன் தென் நைன்டி நத்திங் வில் ஹேப்பன் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த திங் ஸோ இதில் வந்து என்னென்ன பண்ணலாக்கா இது வந்து ப்ரீத்திங் இது ஆகும் ஹார்ட் பீட் பல்ஸ் ஹை இப்போ பல்ஸ் இருக்காங்க அதனால் லைட்டிங் ஸ்ட்ரைக் இது மாதிரிலாம் நிறையா இதுவாக இருக்கும் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் மெனி மைட்ஸ் அண்ட் லேமிட்ஸில் ஸோ இப்போ திஸ் நாட் ரெயினிங் அண்ட் க்ளவுட்ஸ் ஆர் நாட் ஓவர் ஹெட் ஐ எம் சேஃப் இது நாள் லைக் தான் ரெயினிங் க்ளவுட் இருந்தாலும் ஓவர் ஹெட் க்ளவுட் இருந்தாலும் ஓவர் ஹெட்டில் க்ளவுடில் மேலே பார்க்க க்ளவுட் இல்லை பட் சைடில் க்ளவுட் இருந்தால் தட் கேன் பிரிங் தட் லைட்டிங் பிகாஸ் ஐ டோல் யூ ஸோ லைட்டிங் ஸ்ட்ரைக் சம்பர் ஹெல்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் இட் கேன் pass the energy like that in that wave form also and then also that anvil of the cloud will be much away from the where that overhead cloud is there so 5 km also it can go so that also it is not that so the lighting it is not a rain illa cloud illa apna and that la pogura na pakkathla and lighting is present and lighting like this never strike the same place twice so it is also my lighting can strike the place together the more my rubber tire protect you from the lighting from inserting the car on the ground is not like the lighting comes when uh, it is 10 and lighting you can affect the by this one within the car means you should now open the window or anything you should be closed everything should be closed and then if you are inside the car then you are safe if your windows are open then it is you are not safe and lighting victim is electrified you touch them you will be electric with that once it is touched and it is passed then you can touch it because afterwards it will not have the electricity he is not having the person is not a conductor once the conductor is there lighting is the effect on him so afterwards he is not a conductor outside the thunderstorm go on a street that is not there right inside the house also if you are not having a proper lighting inside the house you should not operate the electrical appliances at them that you are not safe 
and structures that is everybody knows. Trap down the and yeah. Okay, if there are doubt in that area. Actually, I don't know. 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 So, lightning always comes you with the thunder. So, thunder is having a very high sound. So, that can damage the eardrums. So, if you have a good idea, you can sound the air, it can protect it. So, it's not like that. It will not hit you. So, 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 it will come along with the thunder. Thunder is having a very huge sound. If it is nearby, then it is having the, the visible, something 40 decibel sound also, which is coming very high sound. So, you have to protect your uh, air. So, if you have a good idea, you can see that the air is coming from the air. You can see that the air is coming from the air. Uh, sound in the, the full air drum plug over. So air drums are safe. So that's the one piece of it. I think that's mostly my problem, not surfaces, but most of the system of people said. But the, our air is almost 7 or 8 percent is how we see why it's come to be. You know, ocean is a little bit. Ocean, the convection is different. So the ocean, the body number, the convection, first of all, not the way. For the initiation of thunderstorm and conduction. Conduction and ground heat are here. This is the male of the world. So, the conduction is very bad. So, ground is uh, ground level conduction. Ground is getting either up very fast or particular. So, ground level conduction is very fast. So, ground level conduction is very fast. So, ocean conduction is also there. Ocean conduction is also there. But, ocean conduction is also there. But, ocean conduction is also there. Not much. Because, ocean conduction is also there. It is very easy. Affects, uh, uh, I think chip is there, but there is always, always protected. The motion that the sun will not have to produce much, much of a damage. Only this kind of sun produces a damage. But uh, compared to uh, this one, motion that the sun, number of motion that the sun is much lesser. The motion also that the sun are there. So many that the sun produce more motion also. Because the any time if I are giving that body as a slide you are shown, any time, at a particular time, we have it, uh, something around 2,000 thunderstorms in Africa. So 2,000 thunderstorms all over the globe. It is not only concentrated to that, uh, only to that, uh, to that tropic region. All over the globe, something around 1,500 to 2,000 thunderstorms are acting at a particular time. Any, any, of the, any of the given time, any time, they are acting. So it is maybe motion, maybe traffic pressure, sometimes even the pole also. So nowadays over there, the Arctic region also, they are receiving some thunderstorms and lightning they have observed, which is much higher than what they have observed for the last 10 years to be relative. Always uh, combines with the lightning alone. No, lightning is always combined with thunder. But, always. but lightning, why you are seeing something, you are not hearing it, when we are, especially during the last time. So you can see something around that when there is a, the lighting is optical uh, image, so optical manifestation. So optics, we can see that uh, image for that uh, something around the 20 kilometers. So lighting, lighting travel, that when it is coming that one, that thunder dissipates, it travels 300 meter per second. The thunder or I mean sound or 300 meter per second. So it may dissipate. Uh, the sound it comes when you, before you reach here, but you can re see that especially during the night time, you can see even uh, the visibility is something around the 20, 20 kilometer uh, larger also. 10 to 10 to 20 kilometer size also you can see that uh, lightning, but but the, but the thunder cannot uh, travel that much. Means the sound wave cannot travel that much uh, high to uh, 10 kilometers. So uh, that may uh, that may just uh, dissipate and then die out. So you will not get it, but Whenever there is a thunder is there, that will produce invariably the combined best because that because uh, that simple example only if there is uh, if there is a spark, the you know, only battery at the end of the percent minus in the day now or a spark and the and the and the and the spark or a set of a couple of sound. So the many yep of a spark with only sound on and the sound only thunder like more are you know like power for distance power for packeting now or three of that distance and in another work and this part but then they sound together. So, like that way. So, so 
majority is during the pre monsoon what is the pre monsoon that is the summer period is it right and then monsoon time also we get the thunderstorms and the lightning in the middle jaasti actually the mara nikku poyo next is the relax middle but middle ka pana vandu lightning vandu mara adhigama actually middle ka pana munnal lende or naal indha nimisham kalichi ungalku lightning adhigama ஒரே அது முன்னால அதான் அங்க வந்துறாங்க இப்போ வந்து ஃபுல்லா கிளவுட் டிசிபேட் ஆயிருச்சு கிளவுட் பெரிய வெர்டிகல் கிளவுட் இருந்தாங்க கிளவுட் டிசிபேட் ஆயிருச்சு மலை நின்னு போயிடுச்சு சோ மலை இருந்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் முன்னல பத்தி ஆங்கிள் பத்தி எக்ஸ்போஸ் ஆகும் சோ ஆங்கிள் எக்ஸ்போஸ் ஆகும்போது மேபி சம் 4 5 லைட்டிங் ஒன்லி இது அதுக்கு அப்புறம் மவுண்டன் மலை இருக்கு ஒன்லி லைட்டிங் இருக்கு அதுக்கு அப்புறம் தென் இட் will not be a rain will not be what is the cause of lightning arrest for moderate hours so that uh, depends on the means you need that uh, Well, yeah, lighting arrest will be good. Lighting also, it will not take much. Uh, no, no, no. Maybe something in the maximum uh, 50,000-60,000 only. If you are having a good uh, copper, copper wire, yeah, copper yeah. rod, copper rod, and then get a thing, to something around the 2 meters, we have to make a dip, 2 to 3 meters dip, or pollen or the other boat, we will not go to this. Now, it does not cost more than 50,000. This is available in the market. This is available in the market. Mm. Yeah, that's what we are studying. So, one of the reasons is we are studying the why it is that, uh, that lightning appears. It depends on the because of the presence of the thunderstorm. So, a thunderstorm is more than one of the convective region, convective thunderstorms. So, we are going to talk about the thunderstorm. So, and the one below, and the one below, and the one below, and the one below, and the one below. So, and the, and the, very, the presence of the mountain can create a hidden. And the thunderstorm can be an initiation again that can have a, some kind of fire this way. So, the presence of the physical and the other, 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 the other. The main value of the other, 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 So on the main regions, eh? so we have to study the topography. What is the topography? That That's why I told her also to study the topography along with the thunderstorm frequency along with the topography. That is. You are doing the diagonal and diagonal pattern. Diagonal pattern. Diagonal pattern. Diagonal pattern. Only place to place video. Place to place very often. This is not the same place. It is not the same to all over the place. It can change to the, uh, the place to place. Place to place means it uh, depends upon the metrology of the particular region. How bad it is occurring or something. In the coastal region or something, at the very end of the region, 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 when it is getting that, the earth is getting heated up. So much heated up and then it starts giving away. So, on the many places like the body, afternoon, 12 to 8, on the many evening, or a month ago, and it will be a lot of money. So, there is a lot of ocean, sea breeze, and it will be overnight, night to 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So, there is a lot of mountain plates, a lot of mountain load in the effect of it, that will be night to night to night. So, there are two peaks are observed. One of them is there is a lot of money. 12 to, means 12 o'clock to 8 or 6 o'clock, or peak or. Moon peak on the early morning, the moon is the early, and the moon is the early. So, the moon peak is mostly observable. That's the moon peak. It's like that, it depends upon the particular topography, particular area where you are seeing it. And the moon peak, the primary peak is only one day in the morning. All over India, the moon peak is only one day. Uh, afternoon, late afternoon hours, 12 to say 18 hours, and another one is something in that late day. 3 to 4 o'clock. Did you hear it? अरे ना सरप्राइज जब तो ना सरप्राइज कन्वेक्शन वाले तो सरप्राइज है तो प्रेजेंट होता है कन्वेक्शन ये पूर्व दे फर्स्ट दिस आई विंग सो मच चीज़ रहा संदिग्ध पार्टी की चीज़ पार्टी की चीज़ तकिया ये पार्टी की चीज़ पार्टी की पूर्व ना सो येस गेट चीज़ रहा सो येस कर चीज़ रहा देन इट लीजिंग द From there, the convection energy is going up. So he has told, he has not seen that right. From that point, the convection starts giving that the thunderstorm electrification that is possible. So, that is why he is not going to be able to do it. But, that is not possible. 
convection nothing there. We need so many other factors also, moisture is there, something else is there. So, many factors are there, but convection is also one of the important factors for the occurrence of convection. So, convection is resulting from the surface heating. Uh, there is a possibility that we have to see the climate change. How there are not only, only surface heating, you know, there, there are so many factors are there. So, something like that I have on client, I have not presented also. The aerosol is also presenting. Increases is there. The temperature increase everything. Temperature, not only temperature increase, it is having something like that, that the effect of aerosol. The aerosol essential also can increase the thunderstorm. So so many things. And always we have seen some uh, lightning monitoring stations like yeah. uh, CRI, uh, the Mm -hmm. We are monitoring, no, our network, no, our network is only for the monitoring of lightning only, so we are monitoring yeah, the lightning. No, 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 our thing also, we are also monitoring the real thing, we are monitoring the lightning on the real thing, 24 by 7, we are monitoring the lightning. So, based on that only our app is coming, so monitoring we are lightning and then the app is coming only because of the monitoring of the lightning. So, we are monitoring, and then we have given this monitoring, this was tool to, some government also, some some of the government agencies also to some places. <laughs> With the negative impact or positive impact on Bagano, because lightning, what he has told is lightning produces, uh, 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 can produce the resistance, that nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen, which is needed to one of the, uh, the natural fertilizer, it can act as a natural fertilizer for the plant. So natural. Otherwise, say they, some kind of that lightning always produces. But sometimes the lightning can produce because of its huge energy. So the nitrogen, nitrogen oxide will get more Nitrogen oxide. As the little oxygen one day, more oxygen release time that will produce the like you say oxygen say the more oxygen release time will nature atmosphere oxygen say the that will produce the ozone. So and then ozone increase time, ozone increase time, it will increase time. So it is which is other one the power only in the in the in the world in the world plant it is easy away no and the many so something that will create that even the methane also so it will have a production for the methane also so something so many things are produced so chemistry in a party in the mary in the in the particular plant again in the mary with the way no in the way no in the way no in the way no then it is having a good relation with the agricultural products different agricultural products is having a good relation like this having a good relation. Suppress the lightning. So they are trying to produce, they are telling that suppressing the lightning is there, that what he is telling is that the trigger lightning is one of the things. So before the lightning can strike, we can send the things and then make that uh, send the triggering lightning. But that is not so much useful, it is not economical also. So something they are telling when they are tried in some places, when they are having something like that, they are telling that when there was a breathing volume, they, they have uh, destroyed all the drain. They have sent the rocket and then they have put and then they have put some put some salt and then they have uh, missed that then there will be not there will be no rain will be there. So something we can trigger the lightning before some particular happen given to happen. You can trigger a lightning. So not it's not surprising. You can trigger a lightning before time so that lightning will not happen during a particular period. But that is not the economic. We asked about the uh, relationship between uh, lightning and uh, farming. Let it's a quite interesting topic. No one can deliver because they have been working for the past 30, more than 30 years, most of them. See, they are basically physics people. Whatever you ask, they will relate with the physics. Unless you have strong physics, it's a difficult thing. We have certain Definitely, we have been telling uh, climate change, uh, rainfall is increasing, number of rainy days increasing, this and that. But we have to go into the atmospheric science. That is the next step. Uh, from the meteorologist, uh, the environmental specialist to go into that domain. It's a big domain. Definitely, we must venture into that. Unless and otherwise you go into that atmospheric science, 
you cannot grab the opportunity of a common man. Otherwise, you have to be uh, restricted with uh, the agriculture, farming, IFB. Only this, when you go to the general field, play field, you must take up this. This is a tough subject. Yeah, because of the curiosity, I was asking. It's not an easy thing to answer. It's a less for my understanding. I was asking. It. It's a big thing, lightning and thunder. They have been uh, toiling much for that. IATM, I have not visited through Harsha and the Gokila. I heard that they have got a lot of facilities. We must definitely go to that institute and tie up with those who are in uh, MSc plan for your Our scientists are there for guiding you. So, all along they have come down to UT based on the request here and uh, delivered a nice talk. Uh, thank you, Mr. and Dr. Kishi Pawar sir. Also, Dr. Global Action sir. And we can hear uh, the uh, subject from them for hours together. Okay. This is the eye opener for uh, all of our students. All our experts are modelers and all our experts. So, this is a new area for them. Uh, on behalf of our team, uh, we sincerely thank you for your very, very nice session. Thank you, thank you.